Um, protein, we're talking about this week. Why is protein so important? Well, in actual fact, in Latin, protein means of primary importance. There you go, guys. Wow. So essentially, why is it so important? Well, it's, it's so important because it rebuilds all of our muscle tissue. It rebuilds all of our cells. And, you know, let's be honest, studies have shown time and time again, people that eat a high protein diet have more muscle, have less fat, and they're, they're able to stay fuller for longer throughout the day. Okay, well, let's go through them. Um, eggs. Yep. Uh, I love them. Uh, why are they so good and more importantly, why do you love them? Look, eggs are cheap and they're convenient, let's be honest. Yep. You know, people doing it tough out there with money and eggs cost bugger all. And yep. they're easy to use, so you can boil them, you can poach them, you can fry them, you can have them any way you want. And the great thing about eggs is that they've been proven to be really well absorbed by your body to utilise all the protein that's in there and help rebuild your muscles. And that's because the, the fat of the yolk helps, so don't eliminate the yolks altogether, yeah? Yeah, don't eliminate the yolks. You know, the yolks, you know, for years have been demonised as increasing cholesterol, but we now know that eating cholesterol doesn't necessarily increase cholesterol. So, you know, they, they're packed, as I said, of good fats, and by eating a whole egg, it actually helps you absorb all the protein within the egg. Okay, uh, we've got a bit of salmon here, a bit yep. of fish. Um, talk us through that. Yeah, well look, you know, the great thing about, you know, salmon, and I know there's a lot of scaremongering at the moment, people saying a lot of our salmon is being farmed mm. and it's being fed with pesticides and whatnot, but you can't get away from the fact that research has shown time and time again that salmon is not only high in protein, but it's high in anti-inflammatory good fats, and it helps lower heart disease, it helps, you know, prevent so many other diseases, including, you know, obesity and cancer. But you don't always have to eat it fresh, that's the great thing about salmon. You know, a lot of tinned salmon is actually wild caught salmon, as long as you drain it, and get rid of a lot of the salt and you know the preservatives out of it. Mm -hmm. um, sardines, whilst they're not salmon, are another great form of, of tin fish. Yeah, tuna. Tuna, tuna. Yep. tuna's another one. They're high in, as I said, omega freeze, vitamin D, they've got so much goodness in them, and they keep you full and they're, they're tasty as well. And we've got a little powder here on the plate. We've got uh, a bit of man shake. Uh, talking to you, obviously, with there's protein in that. Yeah, well, more specifically, the great thing of protein on this plate is the whey protein. Okay. You know, we want a mix of whey proteins when you drink a protein. And, and what, what is a whey protein? A whey protein is essentially a byproduct of cheese production. Okay. And it's high in nutrition, it's high in vitamins and minerals, and it's high in you know, protein, which we need to do all the great things that we've spoken about today. But a lot of people think that they need to eat protein like a bodybuilder and have a WPI, which is a really quickly absorbed protein, but it's, it's garbage. You want what we call a broad spectrum protein, which obviously has a WPI, a WPC, and has a mycine casein, which is a special type of obviously protein powder in it as well, because it's released gradually throughout the day for your body. So, you know, the great thing about protein is, well, it's convenient, you can have it on the run, it's cheap, and it can be so creative in the way that you have it. Throw it in a smoothie, add something to it, make, you know, protein balls, put in some, you know. My specialty actually, as you know. Put it in some other dishes, and you know, it, it's just really simple and quick.